well? You don't say it's a well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> we made it to the Alamo. Yeah. They're restoring a lot of it, which yeah. is important. Yeah, they said the limestone is crumbling. Yeah, so they got to do some work to preserve it. So we're not allowed in certain areas. Not allowed to uh, do photography in certain areas or video in certain areas. So, but that's cool. Um, we are happy to cooperate with the preservation of the Alamo. Well, I mean, it's well. <laughs> The Alamo, the first time you've been. Yeah, I never have been. Been here a couple times, never went. What do you think? It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of history a lot there. Of history. They were doing a lot of restoration. Yeah, it sucks a lot of it was blocked yeah. off. But um, but it was fun. And um, so we're gonna see what else we can get into in San Antonio. Maybe catch a, a Spurs game. Uh, we're gonna meet up with some subscribers and yeah. go to a comedy, comedy club, club and hang out and uh, we'll see what else we can get into too. I'm sure we can get into a lot more in San Antonio. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Here we go. At some point, there's gonna be margaritas by the river water. Yeah. A starter. But we just walked <laughs> around the whole thing. So today, it's milkshakes on the river water. Cheers. <laughs> um, I just have one question. Does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Just San Antonio is so awesome and you go in one direction you see a bunch of cool stuff. You go back the other direction you see a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. You don't feel like you're downtown. Mm -hmm. And it's a Wednesday afternoon so. Yes, it's awesome though. Uh, not real busy down here. Yeah. So we're having a good time in San Antonio and we can't wait to see what else. Uh, I think it's good that we, we scheduled to stay here for two weeks. Yeah. There's just so There's much to do. to do. We don't generally talk about the RV parks that we stay in. No. But the one in San Antonio that we're staying in, Pretty nice. Yeah. It's got uh, one big. big side on the other side of the lake over there. That's the side we're staying on. Yeah. And then they got the big lake out here and mm -hmm. you can fish in. Five acre lake. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that in the paperwork? Mm -hmm. oh. it's five I don't acre read lake. the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't read the, the, the rules and regulations and the layout. No. no. Anyway, it's a five acre Shocker. lake. <laughs> <laughs> and you can fish here. It's catch and release only, but um, it's like the one we. It's way bigger than the way one we bigger. stayed at in Austin, but it's the same rules. It's almost like an RV park on that side of the lake, and, the and then another one over on this yeah. side of the lake. We walked over here and we just walking through, through, and um, it's the most expensive park that we've stayed at so yeah, far because it's a resort. Yeah, it's a resort. They do have the pool and hot the hot tub, tub and now they have the lake, yeah. and good views. Uh, we're right, pretty close to the lake, and yeah. we'll ducks out here swimming around. It's nice in San Antonio. Yeah. One of the nice things is like it's January we're wearing shorts. Shorts too. It was 78 today. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. But um it was like it's like 225 for the week and we're staying for two weeks so yeah. pretty expensive compared to what we've what been we staying at. Yeah. Um, every once in a while you know you're gonna hit those spots where you have to pay more. Yeah it's a bigger city. And then so we try to find the other spots that are less so that it kind of offsets. Yeah. And we still hit our hit our budget that way. Yeah. Yeah, we normally don't talk about it, but um, I think this is one of my favorites so far. Yeah. So uh, 
I wanted to talk about this. It's well, called the... Except for Branson. Yeah, except for Branson. <laughs> Branson was awesome for the three days until we got flooded yeah. out. But this is called the Lake Braunig RV Resort. Braunig Lake RV. Braunig Lake RV Resort. Yeah. And because uh, Braunig Lake is like right there. Just right there. Yeah. Today we are on Fort Sam yeah. Houston in San Antonio, Texas, mm -hmm. which is also now Joint Base San Antonio. Yeah. It's all in one now. I was here, well, first time I was here was in 1997. Yeah. After I went to basic training, I came here because I was a combat medic. Mm -hmm. And all Army medics and medical MOSs do their training here on Fort Sam Houston. Yeah. And then several years later, they, they consolidated where the Air Force and the Navy, they do their medical training here now too. Yeah. So, it got nicer. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So you'll find the Air Force and the Navy and the Army over there tra training all together mm -hmm. for medical training, but you won't find the Marine Corps. No. <laughs> Marines don't have medics. <laughs> <laughs> they use Navy corpsmen. So if you see a, a Navy corpsman, it doesn't necessarily they mean that they are just Navy. Navy yeah. They could be out on the front lines with, uh, with the Marines, Marines, infantry and all that stuff out on the ground uh, mm -hmm. fighting and, uh, and patching up the jarheads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OD'd on crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Drew. <laughs> yeah, so the reason that we're talking in the truck, it's a really nice day out. It's beautiful. But Not it's, a cloud in the sky. Yeah, and it's the first sunny day since we've been in San Antonio. Yeah. It's been overcast the whole time. So we're, we're glad that the sun's out. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> it's windy. It's, it's cool. And it's very windy. Yeah, it's very windy. So um, we'll we'll try to uh, to show you around some of the outside stuff, um, but we may we, we may not be able to talk while we're showing it yeah. to you. Um, we'll we'll kick the wind uh, audio off and put some cool music behind it for your <laughs> listening <Cool>. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, right behind us, we're in the parking lot of the of the PX. And the, a cool story, we're going to take a picture and send it to Lauren. Yeah. Because um, I think it was back when I came here for some other medical training later in my career, mm -hmm. uh, 2004, I think we determined yeah. it was that, yeah. that there was a vendor outside of the PX and they were selling those, those soft mink blankets. Mm -hmm. And Lauren was four at the time or getting ready to turn four at the time. Yeah, she was about to have her birthday. And so I was here training and I saw the, those big blankets and it had the, the Disney, Disney princesses, princesses on it. It was super soft and had all their pink, pinks and purples and all the cool yeah. colors. And so I got that for her. Mm -hmm. Gave it to her for her fourth birthday. Yeah. Because yeah. I was at my parents' house Yeah. for her birthday and you were able to get a pass yeah. from training. and coming. The reason that this blanket is significant is because she stopped sleeping with this blanket when she turned 14. 14. <laughs> that thing went everywhere. Sorry, we just embarrassed the crap out of Lauren. <laughs> and when I say it went everywhere, it went everywhere. Yeah. It, it went to every hotel we ever yeah. stayed at. She wouldn't even use the bedding. She slept no. with her blanket. It went on every airplane ride with her. It's been to several duty stations, <laughs> several countries, even on vacations uh, to Paris. It went with us. Yeah. Um, Germany. It, it went, went everywhere. It's been everywhere. <laughs> so that thing's been around the world. Um, we still have it. Yeah. It's, it's in storage. storage. But um, this is this is where we got it. Yeah. I was 14. We were able to get her to part with it for <laughs> a newer one. But well, that's a funny story too. <laughs> oh God, that's not funny. It is funny that's story. Not fun. Should we tell the funny story? Yeah. We had to get the replacement blanket. She's 14. We wanted to get the cool, the the big mink blanket. Still, still big, queen still size. soft. Yeah. But you ordered like a sugar skull. Yeah, it was an Ed Hardy sugar skull looking. Yeah. Well, Ed Hardy so it was skull a cool design, tattoo she type. She's into that now. Ed Hardy stuff. Well, um, and we got it for Christmas. It came in the box, and we just wrapped the box. Yeah, because I knew what by the label it? what it was, so I was like, I'll just leave it in the box and wrap yeah. the box. Well. Christmas morning, her parents are, are, are in town. My sister. Sister, the whole family. family. are sitting there opening gifts. Give her the gift, she opens it up, boom, she takes the blanket out of the little plastic thing, she unzips it, takes it out. It's a naked chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a naked chick <laughs> with oh. a pot plant. <laughs> I was horrified. <laughs> Lauren was like, uh. 
that's it. Are you sure this is for me? <laughs> Your dad's like, I'll take it. <laughs> if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway. I was pissed. We sent it back. We got her the real blanket. I think she still has they that apolog one. Still. They apologized and said, just keep it. Don't yeah. send it back. They said, just keep it and we'll send you the right one. Yeah. And it's been five years since then. I think she still has that blanket. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps them for a long time. They last forever. She gets attached to yeah. them. <laughs> anyway, sorry we embarrassed you, Lauren, but it's a funny story and the Christmas story. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The day she gets married, we'll get her a new one. <laughs> With a naked chick and a pop plant? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check out <laughs> Fort Sam Houston. Y'all ready? Ready. Here we go. All right. All right. Behind me is the old Brooks Army Medical Center. How creepy is that place? I want to say that when I was here in training at one time, I don't remember if it was if it was while well, I was AIT or if it was BNOC or ANOC, but at one time I believe that this was the burn unit and then the main hospital is over where they moved it to. I could be wrong. It doesn't look like they're using it for anything now. Which makes it even creepier. <laughs> Leslie's over there laughing. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in on it so you can see the creepiness up in here in this area. It's, it looks like, a, looks like an old asylum or something. But it would be, it'd be really creepy to go like in there at night and just check it out. Well, it's a little windy still, but we're gonna try to talk. We're in front of the iconic soldier medic in the crouched and giving aid <laughs> position. This is in front of the Medcom Museum, Museum. or the uh, Medical Medical Museum. Museum. Medic U.S. Army U.S. Army Department Medical Museum. But anyway, once um, I did all my medical training here, so yes. which means I had to do my AIT here, and then when I got advanced medical training, which back then was called my a B knock and A knock. Yeah. We had to come back to Fort Sam Houston and do our training here, and uh, took our graduation photo right here in front of this, uh, in front of this uh, statue, which was pretty cool. It was cool to see the old barracks. Got to see it hasn't been torn down yet. Yeah, uh, I got to see the old defect we used to eat at mm -hmm. dining facility for mm -hmm. you civilians. Uh, but so where we ate all of our meals, and then um, just cool to see like the Medcom headquarters right here. Yeah. So Army Medical Command. All the top dogs of the medical command of the United States Army are right here on Fort Sam, right across the street. It's where they do all their big drill and ceremonies so nice. and all that yeah. cool stuff. But um, it's just cool. Lots of good military history here. And of course, it's named after General Sam, Sam Houston, Houston, which we've already seen some of the history about Sam Houston along yeah. our travels. And yeah. even downtown San Antonio, they had one of his uh, swords, one mm -hmm. of his guns. Yeah. So that was, that was pretty cool. cool. But um, so that's what it's named for. It's pretty close. It is nice. Now we're gonna go meet up with some subscribers. Yeah. We're gonna have dinner. We're gonna go to the comedy club. We're gonna hang out. It'll be good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Ready? Ready. All right. We got too much footage. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, man. We were, did so much in San Antonio yeah. in two weeks. Um, I know. When we do a, when we do a place for a week, it's about right. Yeah. for a 15 to 20 minute video but we were there for two weeks and we did a ton mm -hmm. so we got to split it up <laughs> <laughs> so we had all it, the, the the closing for everything all, all set for the other one but since we're going to split it we have to say to be continued mm -hmm. but i guess having too much footage is a good, good problem thing. to have yeah. yeah if you're going to have a problem <laughs> that's a good that's problem to have. to have we've got some really bad problems <laughs> It's it's good to have a good problem. Yeah. <laughs> Too much footage, but it's it's not really a problem. I mean, it's cool because yeah, you get to see a bunch of cool stuff, mm -hmm. and um, so you've only seen um, half of it, maybe not even half of it yet. Yeah. But um, but we wanted to to pop in and let you know that it's going to be continued mm -hmm. on the next video, and we also wanted to say that like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We didn't want to miss the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Uh, so stick around for that and thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the first half of San Antonio <laughs> And we'll see you next time for the second half of San Antonio Yeah, Maybe Take two. Take two <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye.